Today we're giving this adorable bear skull a glow up, literally. We're adding LEDs in order to make the magic happen and we need to run wires inside of the model. I'm Brian DeLuc and this is Maker Build It and today I'm showing you how to run channels inside your 3D models in order to make pathways for wiring. And we're doing it in Nomad Sculpt. Whether you're lighting up its eyes, its mouth, or a tiny skull like this, you're gonna wanna know these techniques in order to run your wiring. If you've ever tried running wiring into a finished print, you've realized it's like threading spaghetti through a brick. Adding channels to your model before you print it saves time and most of all, a little bit of frustration, especially if you're looking at small models where drilling isn't ideal. Let's open up Nomad Sculpt where I designed my bear model and I'll show you a quick breakdown of how I did it. But most of all, you always wanna make sure you make a copy of your model before you start because you always wanna work non-destructively. Well, let's sculpt our bear skull really quick. This one we're making super cartoony with a little spiky mohawk. Now we need to add a tube, which is what we're going to use to create the channels. So let's just make everything invisible, so that way we just have our skull and our tube. We're going to click on the skull and we're going to change the opacity down. So that way we could see the tube inside of it. And that's going to give us the ability to be able to see how we're manipulating the tube. We're going to rotate the tube. We're going to bring it into the eye socket. Um, we are going to scale it to fit the eye socket. Now our LED is about six millimeters. So we want our tube to be around six millimeters, which what we did is when we designed the skull, we designed it so it was about six millimeters already. So this tube is going to fit in there perfectly, but as you can see, it's 0.5. Units in Nomad Sculpt are not units like millimeters. They're whatever you want them to be. They can be millimeters, they can be inches, they can be meters. Basically, it doesn't have a defined set of um, distance. So we're going to stretch our tube out to the back, sort of at the base of the skull, where we would want the wires to come out. And then what we're going to do is we're going to click on the tube and add another point. So that way we could turn and extend the uh, tube so that way we'll be able to run the wires right in there. Now what we're going to do is we're going to make sure that clears the base of the skull so we know it's going to go all the way through. And then we're just going to duplicate that tube and we're going to put it in the other eye socket. Now the thing here is we want to make sure the tubes are lined up directly in those eye sockets. You may need to play around with your model's uh, opacity to make sure you can see through it. But now what we're doing is we're just changing that bend at the bottom in order to line up with the other bend. So we're just gonna get those to overlap. And once those overlap, that's gonna take these two channels and merge them together. Once we're happy with how that looks, we're just going to turn everything back in our model. We're going to make sure everything's lined up. As you can see here, the eyes were not perfectly lined up with the tubes. So we're just going to line those up, make sure they're poking through the front. That way, we know when we remove the tubes, we're going to have a clear space. So once everything's lined up and we're happy with it, we're going to take those two tubes. We're going to turn them invisible. We're going to turn our skull visible and click on it. And we're going to do a voxel remesh. Now, once that voxel remesh happens, you're going to see you're going to have your blank space where your tubes are clear. Now we just want to turn on all the other pieces of the skull and make sure we have some clearance. I should have actually selected these when I did my voxel remesh. It would have cut right through these spikes that are going through his head, but I didn't. So now we're just going to clean that up a little bit and make sure we have a clear pathway in the uh, skull itself for our tubes to run through. And as you can see here in our slicer, we could see we have the clearance in order for our tubes to run through. 
Now that our little bear skull is done printing, we're going to wire the LEDs in it. So we have a few things we're gonna use. We have our Casey Helping Hand uh, soldering station, which actually has six helping hands on it and a silicon mat, which is really cool. We're gonna use some solder. We have our wire strippers. We have some shrink tubing. More importantly, we have our LEDs that we're gonna use in the eyes. Uh, we have our battery compartment and we're using two double A's. And obviously we need a soldering iron. So let's get going. So we're using these two LEDs that actually have resistors in them already. We're just gonna strip the wire so we have a little bit more to work with when we solder. Because we're gonna be using some uh, shrink tubing, we're just gonna put these over it. So they're in the correct places. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna solder our wires for the LEDs together. So we're gonna twist them. And once they're twisted, we're gonna take a little solder and we're gonna run it through it. So we're just gonna hold our solder on the top, our soldering iron on the bottom, and we're gonna draw the solder through. Now we're gonna do the block wires. Now we're gonna solder the battery compartment on. If you're new to soldering, I have some tutorials on my channel and I'll also throw them in the link in the description. This is definitely my favorite heat gun. Love this thing. Now let's heat the shrink tubing. And now we have some nice, tight and well covered uh, solders and really stable wires. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna bring these through. Now we are gonna put these in place with some, some glue. And as you can see, they look pretty good. Let's just get some glue in there and get them in place. And that's how you prep your bear skull or any model for LEDs the smart way. Whether you're using tubes or just cylinders and treating it like piping, Nomad Sculpt isn't the only 3D modeling software where you could do this. You could use any 3D modeling software and just follow the simple technique of using tubes in order to uh, snake your wires through your 3D print. Let me know in the comments below if you want to see full LEDs installed in this 3D model once I finish it. And if you're lighting up your own prints, I would love to see them, so make sure to tag me. For more on 3D printing, DIY, and maker projects, make sure you like and follow Maker Build It. And remember, keep on making.